confluence is crowd heads on the river. There are a whole lot of variations, and every region has its own take on the classic, but it's always bold and full of flavor, and it's something you can get at Crawdads. This morning, Gary's on the go celebrating National Clam Chowder Day. Crawdads on the river. We could see the steam rising from the pot, Gary. Oh, my goodness, May. This is the place to be right on the river having clam chowder. Absolutely. All right, we're hanging out with Trevor right now, the owner of Crawdads. We got Brooke Tachibani. <laughs> Did I get it? Tachibana. Tachibana. Oh, Tachibana. <laughs> That's such a great name. All right, Brooke, and, and the laugh is fantastic. That's why we're here this morning. All right, so we're talking about uh, National, uh, of course, Clam Chowder Day. Uh, Trevor, tell us what's going on. Your, your chowder is some of the best around. Yeah, we've had chowder here forever, man. Uh, people come down here and uh, enjoy it every day. It's uh, it's one of our home recipes. We've had it for over 20 years. Now, this is. it doesn't look like this is something you just kind of buy and freeze and do. You guys go fresh. You guys go crazy. You guys got all the ingredients. So, Brooke, tell us what, what you're throwing in this thing. Well, well, we started off with sauteing onions, celery, garlic, some bay leaves, and then we added potatoes to it, a little salt to taste. I just added wine, some clam juice. We're going to add clams to it. And so basically, you're, you're not messing around. Uh, we're, we're not messing around. You don't mess around here at Cronin. No, you do it no. the right way. All right, cool. So then this is just a smaller batch you're making for us this morning. Yes, but basically, absolutely. you're filling this whole thing all the way up, We've, right? We fill a larger pot than this. How much so of this do you think through. you go through each week of this? Tons. Tons. Of tons. It, right? I mean, we, we make it probably uh, almost every day. All right, what else are you throwing in? Let us know the heavy, ingredients. Heavy, heavy cream. Heavy, heavy cream, cream goes in there. I put more clam juice in. Okay. And, and then this would more be the basic. This is like the New, Ang New England clam chowder, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And so then we get this up, and then we want this to get a little boil. And then right here, I have a roux working. Roux. Which, yes, which is oil. And um, we got stuff shooting on our lens. We, we had to clean <laughs> off our lens there. We got stuff. We're making a mess Sorry. out here. Okay, good. Oil, what else we got here? It's oil and um, flour mixed together to thicken the chowder. All so right. as soon as I get this to a boil, I'll add that, and, and then we'll make it thick. All right. I like and how we, that'll be our product. You know, I do a couple dashes of Tabasco here. Ooh, just a, just a couple, huh? Just a few. And then, of course, you Not know, people would like to add things later on. And people do it later for, for their own flavor. Sure, yes, what else absolutely. goes good with something like, like crackers? People like to have things like that. Bread? Yeah, right? so we do oyster crackers with it. We do uh, toast or, uh, bread toast tips. Uh-huh, and they dip them in there, and it's great. And then you're good. You're ready to roll. Yep. Wow, look at this. All right, so this batch right here, once again, we just said this isn't a full one, but mm -hmm. this is going to be, this will serve a lot of people right here, huh? Yeah, so it's a quarter batch. I mean, we usually go through a pot uh, about four times that size twice a day. So we go through a lot of chowder down here. Okay. Um, and then, uh, you know, I mean, you can't beat the weather right now, folks. If you're coming out and you want to have chowder and enjoy the river, I mean, gosh, yeah. I cannot believe it's in the middle of February. And we see a finished product actually coming out right now, yeah. too. All right, so how long does it take you to make this? I know right now, just for us, you're kind of whipping it together. How long would it take to make, like, a nice batch of this? It's going to probably take about 35, 40 minutes. 35, something, 40 minutes? Something like that, maybe a little bit longer with the prep time. Cutting the vegetables and whatnot takes a little bit longer, but putting it all together. So many different yeah. ingredients, because that's how you got to do it. All right, can we go over here and take a look at this? Yeah, come Let's walk over here because now we have to see the finished product, and I and I don't mind if I sit down myself, right? Is that good? <laughs> good. So this is what this is what it's going to look like here, May. There you go. You see that right there? Of course, you got the bread. The oyster crackers are my favorite, and I'm going to jump in here and give this a little bit of a whirl. It is National Clam Chowder Day, and I suggest you come on down to Crawdads or some other places that have it. But of course, this is super fresh. All the ingredients right here. <laughs> come on, really? <laughs> Trevor does not disappoint. Brooke does not disappoint. <laughs> May, come on down here. I'm, this is a. I'm wow. coming, Gary. Hold on. <laughs> Melanie already ran Look out the this. door. Somebody's got to hold down the fort. <clears throat> That looks so good. And look at the view. Crawdads on the river. We love it. National Clam the Chowder Day. There we go. Pour a little bit more Tabasco, mm. Gary, and I'll be right there. Have me a glass of wine waiting, too. 927 is your time. Health